On today's episode of Anime Afterthought, My Hero Academia episode 76, Infinite 100%. We're gonna be skipping this setup today because you guys told me this one's gonna be fire, so let's go ahead and jump right in. He inhales life force, touches, enhances his size. Oh shit, what's up? I thought he had to touch him. Yo, I wonder if he's, yeah, I wonder if he's on that fucking drug though. Yeah, boosting drug. Yo, his voice is ridiculous. Yo, someone told me this has fight of the year written on it. I was like, man, we just started 2020. What the fuck are you talking about? That's a lot to live up to. Surge. Okay, so we finally know she converts her life force into energy, but they twist? Ah, oh, creepy. Yo, what the fuck? Oh, that's gotta be Toga. Deku's fucking fighting with the overhaul. Haha, <laughs> teamwork, man, teamwork. That was right before they busted in last episode. Yeah, I fucking called it. Ah, Mr. Compress was there too? Go Entropy plus K. Oh, come on. Oh, he's, uh, he's a copy. They use twice his ability. There's Toga that's just sitting there butt naked. <laughs> go, 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 go. You gotta grab her. Oh, it's Mirio's cape. Oh, what was that? Was that her quirk uh, manifesting? Oh, so the mother gave up the daughter? Yo. So Aerie killed the dad, and the mother abandoned her to the grandfather? God, she looks so fucking depressed. What the fuck happened to the mice? What is her fucking power, though? Oh. The power to rewind? Like time? No, it can't be time. Yes, go back. Oh, there we go. Fucking jump. Oh, God. This is a sad song. Are you kidding me? Are we going to fucking get something sad? Oh, God. I'm starting to fucking tear up, man. Yes. Finally. Fucking finally. Now, let never let her ass go. See, that must be her quirk. Yeah, and he's just back to normal, Chizuki. Yo, this, I don't know if this music is supposed to be sad or inspirational, but it's fucking sad. Yeah, man, if you can't save her, you can't save fucking anyone. Go, what the fuck happened? Holy shit. What the fuck happened? Well, that dude's dead. Yo, my man got mad hops. Yo, is he flying? Is he flying? I blast off. Yo, my, my man Jack One Piece moonwalking. Yeah, he's fucking, he's sanji this shit up. Just the, the pressure from his fucking step shot him up in the air. <laughs> Yo. Yo, that's it. He's using one for all 100%. Uh... Is Ares power rewinding his body to a... He just said, if he was using 100%, his leg would be broken. Is Ares rewinding his body to an unbroken state after he uses 100%? Is that what the fuck's going on? Bro, I'm surprised your ass is still fucking alive. I can see gold sparks. I think her power is stopping Deku from getting hurt. Oh, no, Uraraka. Yeah, her horn's still active. Oh, fucking smile. So did Night I witness all this? Yo, and now we got Overhaul and fucking, uh... That big-ass dude that the Dragon Lady took down. They've managed to fuse together. Ah, look at that fucking monster in the background. Oh, that sad fucking face. Oh, what the fuck's going on? Oh, so she has no control over it. 
She rewinds humans. Turn into a monkey. Are you saying it would even happen on a fucking... My, like a microscopic level? Yo, but if, if she can't control it, does that mean he could turn into a fucking baby than nothing? Or wait, that's how... That's how Mirio's quirk got... It went to a... Pre-quirk state? Yeah, hopefully they explain this shit. 100%! Oh, shit! Yo, look at that! Yo, he went green Super Saiyan! Yo, 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 so I was right, it would... Does he want to use it to get every, oh, rid of everyone's quirks? Yo! Yo! Oh, shit! Yo, a single fucking kick at 100%? Yo, she was probably hoping to get the shit beat at him again. Yep. He, he just kicked right there to stop his, uh, stop his flow. Yo, she, she did basically kill her dad. She turned him into pre-birth. Yo, this is truly fucked up. Yo, man, that's the fucking grandfather, the leader, and you're trying to impress him by fucking up his goddamn granddaughter? What the fuck is wrong with you? Yo, 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 yo. Did fucking Overhaul do that? Make it big, I'll repair you? That motherfucker put the fucking, the, the, the leader in the fucking hospital. What the fuck? Yo, Deku, take his motherfucking ass down. Take his ass down. Yo, he's just fucking moonwalking. <laughs> Yo. How can I save anyone? Yo, one punch man. <laughs> oh, shit. You hear the sound effects? Oh, shit. Go, 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 go. Holy shit. Yo, that was fucking bonkers. That was that for a future night eye. Well, fucking Deku said he was gonna change it, so he fucking changed it. Yo, does that mean All Might can be saved? Yo, 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 that was straight fucking fire. You guys did not lie. That was fucking amazing. Honestly, fight of the year, it's way too fucking early to sell. It's January 11th, 2020. Come on, way too early. That's honestly a contender. That was fucking amazing. I got so emotionally wrapped up into it. As soon as that slow song, when Deku and Eri are reaching for each other, it's just very, very emotional. And then out of nowhere, motherfucker goes 100%. We learn the, uh, just a bunch of revelations like fucking it was just it was fucking amazing first and foremost i did not know twice his power was that powerful like to make a copy but also the copy has the original ability like that's pretty fucking interesting using compressed to dig their way out then manipulating the other heroes to go take down you know chiha saikai at overhaul while they snatch up airy like i mean they're a lot smarter than i gave them credit for also i absolutely loved the teamwork between uraraka asui neji Ray, and the dragon lady that honestly i cannot for the life of me remember remember her fucking name. I look it up every single time and I can't remember it. That was some badass teamwork until the dude, the fucking, who took the quirk enhancing drug fucking kicked in. But honestly, this whole episode is all about Deku and Eri and the fight between them and Overhaul. Like, I fucking loved it. It was so sad though. She killed her fucking father or if I'm understanding this correctly, she has the Wait. ability to rewind a human. Not just a physical attribute. If you get cut, it'll heal. If you age, it'll turn back your clock. Like, I I don't know who fuck knows she can't control it but but it also works on a biological level quirks are mutations so overhaul's plan was to literally rewind all of society to the point where no one would have quirks or the way he kind of described it the first time was that but then once we get a flashback and to see he's the motherfucker that put the head honcho in the fucking hospital bed he wanted to sell the quirk erasing drugs to the villains but also sell the serum of the quirk erasing drugs to get their quirks back to the fucking hero 
Heroes in an endless loop which would gain Chia Saikai tons of fucking money and tons of prestige, yet not only did you fucking knock this motherfucker out using your, you know, overhaul ability, but, um, you were literally disassembling and reassembling his fucking granddaughter, like, choo, like, fuck me. But honestly, when I saw Deku disappear, I lost it. Like, that was fucking it. Like, my first instinct is somehow through this emotional state, he has surpassed something and now he's fucking flying. But it's not even that. It's basically moonwalking from One Piece. He's using the power f like of a step to press the air pressure down. That basically was a giant fucking jump. And every time we see him zoom around in the fucking sky, it's him literally like either kicking, punching, or whatever to send a blast of fucking air to send, like, propelling him. Like, that's, oh my god. Honestly, when he goes full counting 100%, he looks like a green fucking Super Saiyan. Like, I, I about lost my shit. And then, the fucking, just the barrage of punches. At the very end, we get the goddamn One Punch Man. Like, what the fuck? All those fists in the air, and literally the one that connects with Overhaul. The one that literally, it looks like he disassembles himself to a fucking skeletal state, and then, oh my, holy shit. That was such an amazing fucking episode. You guys did not lie. I, like that's it but that was the climax right because in the next preview it looks like all the aftermath I defeated Chisaki and you know this is the aftermath I mean fat gums taken out it looks like Kirishima's fucked up Mirio Mirio is quirkless but okay okay so Eri was able to create the quirk erasing bullet but also overhaul said I can create a serum to the quirk erasing bullet to get those quirks back so 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 my understanding if Eri gets her powers under control can she help bring Mirio's powers back like she was able to rewind it but she, could she also rewind his already rewound state to a previous state where he had his thing or is it I don't know the way fucking overhaul stated it is that there is you know using her ability but at this point she has no fucking control even De Deku can feel this when she's on his back like oh shit like her power just fucking skyrocket and we see it the, the, the horn fucking glow even worse like oh fuck 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 but yeah it looks like a, a bunch of our heavy hitters is down for the count going back through these images that black image I couldn't tell what the fuck it was was night eyes smiling um yo is he is he like fucking is is he dead like he, the dude had a goddamn spike through you know 30 percent of his fucking torso like it, it was a giant one foot hole he's either you know hospitalized forever done being a pro hero or this motherfucker is dead like oh shit like oh, why would you introduce a character just to fucking kill him all like oh like okay okay so deep breaths deep breaths honestly fight of the year it's a contender it's honestly a fucking contender that that just god damn man I got fucking goosebumps like that's how good that fucking fight was holy shit honestly i'm scared to see the aftermath though but but i have to i have to that's what this series is all about so with all that being said i honestly cannot wait for future episodes